The Olympics and Team USA, the surprising victory for gymnast Suni Lee stepping in for Simone Biles. And in the pool, swimmer Caleb Dressel winning by a mere fraction of a second, setting a new Olympic record. But those COVID dangers still loom. An American pole vaulter, the latest now to test positive. ABC's James Longman has the latest from Tokyo. Tonight, a stunning triumph in Tokyo as 18-year-old Minnesota native Suni Lee takes home the gold medal in the women's gymnastics all-round competition. She's now the fifth American in a row to win gold in the event. This medal definitely means a lot to me because there was a point in time where I wanted to quit and I just didn't think I would ever get here. Lee vaulted to victory with Simone Biles cheering her on from the stands after she left the event to focus on her mental health. Biles tweeting overnight, the outpouring love and support I've received has made me realize I'm more than my accomplishments and gymnastics, which I never truly believed before. Gets that control back. Wow. Biles' absence opened the door for Lee and the 23 other women in the competition. Lee is the youngest member of the U.S. women's gymnastics team and the first ever Hmong American Olympian. And with her victory is now not only the face of her community, but the new face of U.S. women's gymnastics. I can't find the words to ex express it, how happy we are, how important that was to, to me and my family and the whole Hmong community throughout the world. Today, Lee tweeting, the people I do it all for, I love you all. And in the pool, a new Olympic record set by Florida native Caleb Dressel. Dressel trying to hang on down the stretch here. The 24-year-old winning his second gold medal by six one-hundredths of a second in the 100-meter free. Afterwards, Dressel emotional, celebrating his victory with his family, watching thousands of miles away. Love you too. Thank you, guys. But among all the medals and celebrations, COVID still looms. 24 new cases have been reported from inside the Olympic bubble, bringing that total to 198. U.S. pole vaulter Sam Kendricks is one of them. It's been an agonizing run for the world champion, who is now the seventh U.S. athlete to test positive, and he'll now miss competing in these Olympic Games. A heartbreaking break, and James, of course, is joining us now from Tokyo. James, Team USA now at 38 medals after that stunner from Suni Lee. The U.S. currently in the lead. Who do you have your eye on now? Well, Cecilia, the U.S. has a few opportunities to increase the medal count in the pool swimming finals today. Track and field events begin today as well. And the U.S. women's soccer team, they go up against the Netherlands in the first of the knockout rounds. Cecilia. Well, I'll be watching closely, James. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.